Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We're reacting to episode 4 of Young Royal season 3. Mm -hmm. Last episode ended quite dramatically. It was explosive. Simon's house was attacked. Yes. The police was there. The mom was giving a statement. He was on the phone to Willem. Yes. Willem was told off by Farima. Again, he's under a lot of pressure. Simon is under a lot of pressure. Sarah's under a lot of pressure. <laughs> Yes. August is under a lot of pressure. It seems everybody's under a lot of pressure. The only one not under a lot of pressure is Vincent. Yeah. Who's sure. a bit of an asshole. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously coming after Willem and talking about that post that he made, yeah. that, that Simon made. It just feels like there's another conflict coming. Brewing. Yes. Episode four. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Imagine someone throwing a stone into your flat, you know. Imagine you were at that table when it happened, you know. Ooh. At this point, he's probably thinking... Is it all worth it? Oh no. He's not happy because him. he can't be who he is, behave the way he wants to, and it's also dangerous. I'm a mess. He needs Marlon outside the door. <laughs> Is he okay though? No, he's not okay. No. no. He just was crying in the bus. Of course he's not okay. Mama pratat om att vi kanske måste flytta. Flytta. Vi pratar med hovet. Yes. There must be a stop okay. Yes, of course you can move into the castle. <laughs> they must have five extra spare rooms or something. Maybe we can move into the castle. Oh no! Exam Final exams. Time. Let's go. Third years. Oh, the trauma. Trauma. What trauma? Exam no, exams. Oh, it was alright, it wasn't bad. If you think about it now, actually, it was a good time. We had a good time. You know what we should do? A penis. <laughs> we should do a penis? Okay. Who is drawing... Vincent? Vincent drawing penises? Vincent, is there something you want to tell us? Well, I guess it didn't go well for him. We fell out big time. We left also in the after 30 minutes. Why should we try to get out of here if we don't get out of here? He just lives for the party, no? Vincent. Mm. Vi måste göra något stort. Något liksom större än uh, namninsamlingen. Jo, som vad då? Jag vet inte. Någon jävla mat i magen. Jag för det är skitning. He just doesn't even care. He just wants no, to be with exactly. Sarah. What are we going to do when this is over? I just want to see Malta look at Sarah. The way Malta looks at... What's her name, the actress, by the way? The way he looks at her is just mesmerizing. I love it. That's how I love you. Is that so? Yeah. Mm. You haven't noticed, clearly. Nope. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Big move. Oh, no. Nope. Mm. I love how Felice wants to make a move, but the minute the girls appear, she's frozen. Ska gå kampen mot aristokratin? What? Första maj. An asshole. He needs to be punched in the face. He's so annoying, honestly. Får man inte ens skämta längre? It's not a joke. Skämt om det är roligt, Vincent. Vincent, man behöver inte vara kommunist. Bara för att man är för en demokratiskt vald statschef. Okej, så du är emot monarkin? Behöver du gå och demonstrera lite? Ja, men, ja, men gå och gör det. Patetisk. Mm. What he said. You know what's crazy? Simon's mom even said, 
this school isn't a good idea and she wants to take them out or she was thinking about it. You never answer Lucy's question. Mm. True though. He likes the royal dick. He just doesn't like the royal court. Det är en symbol som enar folket. Enar folket. Du låter som Jan Olof. <laughs> det är ett privilegium. Inte ett straff. Jag säger bara att jag... That's what she his mom would say. It is a privilege. But he usually never sees it as no, a privilege. No, it's, no? it's... it's, it's it, they were not his words. They were not his words. Vi ska nämligen få betänka er framtid. Vad hoppas ni på? Ja, allt vill ni förlora skulden. <laughs> what is he gonna write? I wanna know what Will is gonna write. <laughs> These two. Sara? What is Sarah gonna write? Hey. Uh, jag uh, Så... So glad av att se dig på Valborg. Ja, då är du nog den enda som blir det. She's responding. Jag måste nog gå. Come to my room and then we can talk. Nej. Ska du mm. köra kort? Vad va, va, kul. Ja, oh, he's so cute. He's like a little boy around her, you know? He, it's adorable. Interesting, the red light is off. Lillen. Hej för din mamma. Fick du paketet jag skickade? Ni behöver hjälpa Simon. Ni, ni får skicka dit Säpo eller någon vakter eller någonting. Mm, det är inte gärna det. Okej, okay. jag ser över det. Okay. Look into it. Call security. Var det något annat du ville prata om? Yes, send him a press pack. Huh. Mom. <laughs> ja, det är därför vi behöver prata om din födelsedag. Mm. Nej, det har beslutats här att det bästa är att skicka dig och August. Oh, this is crazy. Så jag blir inte ens förvånad. <laughs> We are also not surprised at this point. Låt oss vara transparenta med att det finns en ökad bild. <laughs> no, she needs to speak to Jan Olof. Efter hans uttalande. Från den oh, he's there. They are having a meeting. Let's go. På Hillerstö, där är du ju trygg. Och sen har ni det här numret till Säpo. Sounds like a compromise. Okay. Mm, what does that mean? Ju mindre mm. du syns just nu, desto säkrare är du. Det är ingen ny musik, inga interaktioner överhuvudtaget. She's getting what she wants. Egentligen är det bästa att du bara raderar dina konton. Ha? Huh? Delete them? Why? Delete your life. Okej. Okay. Bra. This is almost like uh, I'm gonna quote the Little Mermaid again. It's Ursula, and he's giving away his voice. <laughs> True, right? Sing, sing, and she's they're taking oh, his voice. Crazy! Away. Why delete them? It's a lot. Just maybe deactivate, deactivate them. Though. Yeah, yeah. Very dramatic. Delete everything. <sighs> so she goes back to school, but she's not staying at school. Nej, fick 64 och 65. What? Ooh. Wow, she's really good. Well done. Oh. Oh. Is he gonna delete it? Why not just deactivate? Memories. <gasps> no, you don't have to delete, babe. Deactivate. Too late. They're just doing it for drama. No. I talked with Farima and said that it's great to come up in Falsro. Do you really want to have me there? Mm. Of course, welcome to your birthday. Is that the first birthday he will celebrate with Valum? I think so, yes. Is that the window they kissed in season one? Mm, looks like it. De vill visa att jag är en seriös, traditionell, smart, stark. Seriös och traditionell. Någonting som du brinner för, något som betyder någonting för dig. Något som kanske har med psykisk ohälsa yes. att göra. 
That would make sense, you know. Exactly, I was just about to say LGBTQ or who knows what else. Folk things plus. Folk exactly. Use your privilege, you know. I love how Simon is challenging him, you know. Think outside the box. You have this privilege, but think further. Let's go back quickly. I want to say the last thing that he said. Yes. Dude. No, do you though? I don't think you're getting it. He doesn't even want to do it. He doesn't care. <laughs> Bit disappointing. Mm -hmm. But then again. Now you have a reason. Oh, is that her letter? I was like, just about to, to say. But didn't they give them red envelopes? Mm. Is it the third year? I want to see what August wrote. Yeah. This is bad. Are we doing this demonstration or Especially whatever? after Freemani and Olaf said to Simon no demonstrations and suddenly they have a demonstration at that damn school. <laughs> like, the third, third year is... I mean, who cares Ugh, about them? Exactly. Last time I checked, they were taking food away from us. He had such a big mouth before, no? And suddenly he's like... Now August is like the leader again. August is back, back, back. I'll be like, babe, let's go to your room, I'm gonna sit on something else. <laughs> Can I bring a chair? Like, I don't wanna sit on the floor. No. But August sitting on the floor in Valentino? I think not. Simon is slowly realizing what, what is going on here. It's like, I actually don't fall in love with you. Who the fuck are you? Nick Snella. Walk away. Yes, make a stand. Walk away. Nick's hello. Hello, Nick's hello. Nick's hello. Nick's hello, baby. Oh, that's a beautiful profile. He has a beautiful jawline. Vincent doesn't like, sit down. Wilhelm? I thought he can't do stuff like this because it shows like a political Wilhelm. statement. No! You know, like he's... No. All right, I'm disappointed. No, Prince is taking a stand. Oh my God, no. Shake the hand as well? I can't, it's cringe. August, I have Valentino on the phone. The brand deal is off. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna talk to Sarah. Oh. Sarah is wearing his color. Or is it just me? Is that her color as well? I don't know. But she's wearing his color. Topos är jättebra här mot pappa. Som jag by the way inte haft någon kontakt med på flera år även fast jag har velat för din skull. I'll be like actually babe we're having a great time. <laughs> she's the teachers like where's everybody? This is hilarious. This is actually hilarious that the two <laughs> kids are making a party out of it. The two kids that are from outside that are external are in class and the rich kids, the privileged kids are striking. Mm. Ooh, Vanessa is about to slap a bitch. Go genast tillbaka till era lektioner på en gång. Kommer få en officiell varning och jag kommer prata med era föräldrar. Ooh, Federica is ready to jump! So you don't just go out of school now, but also yourself. And that's very unfortunate. But they went here... Are you sure you're going to go to 
inte om jag är på er sida. Att våra föräldrar är det. Um, om de inte ger upp så ser vi fin middag. Och stäng skolkaféet och köket. Starf dem. Okay. Who's gonna win? Vanessa is like, just so you know, I let the war place. begin. Let the war begin. Oh. What is he doing here? I'll be like, babe, I'm going home. See you tomorrow. Simon, har du en till klubb eller? No, babes. You know what she do? She, she, he needs to do now. Take that lollipop and shove it into the Willis mouth. Nej, det är precis det här han vill. Att 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 bryta ner oss. Att försöka. You know what the funniest part is? They're all going to bed hungry. Willis gonna call Jan Olaf and get two pokeballs into his room. No, he has to stay there though. Not if he needs to go to the toilet. Det är så nice med att vara lite hungrig ibland också. Det låter som en ätstall. <laughs> Verkligen. <laughs> It does. Oh, bless you August. Alltså jag orkar inte bråka nu. Till henne. My fight. Well, they just had different... Point of views. Point of views, you know. Komplettera varandra och lära oss av varandra. Mm. Are you learning from me? Willem doesn't seem to be learning. Jag vill aldrig såra dig, Simon. Never wants to hurt him, but almost hurts him every episode. Om du något att äta eller är så jävla hungrig. Åh, det är en del spänn. Simon, snabbt. Mm. I would have said every bis is 300. Every bis? <laughs> every every bite. bite. <laughs> <laughs> They're bidding for food. Stop it. Where is this coming from though? I mean, this is in the evening, right? So it's not even been 24 hours. No, wait for them. Tomorrow morning they're gonna be destroyed. Oh, they're leaving. Are they taking their pants off? The fact that they're all being bullied into doing this by Vincent, who is the person who wants the, his party, his graduation party, mm. be like, babe, you can strike as much as you want. I'm out of here. The school inspection would have seen this. Yes. Lisa, jag, alltså jag fattar att du har varit jättedeppig och så, men du kan liksom inte ta ut det på alla andra. I'm sure it's fine. Interesting. Exactly. How Stella is and ready already, to pounce. And they, they already knew that they're having these initiations, you yes. know? But as long as she didn't say what they're doing. Exactly. Someone stayed here? Mm. Stop. That is true love. Wasn't he supposed to be picked up by the Royal Court car or something? Mm. I guess he just needs to call them or something. He needs to call them for some breakfast. Oh, this is such a nice bonding moment, no? Is it the calm before the storm? This is the calm before the storm. Sorry, go. Yes, it was lovely. No. <laughs> no, my neck is hurting. At least he's honest. Mm. It smells very nice in here. Ni får tillbaka era mobiltelefoner. Yes! Och studenten? Den slänger vi också på. She's giving into everything. Då så. Wash yourself and get some food. <laughs> She's like, oh damn it. I burnt the place down. <laughs> I want to see what's going to come out of it. Wait for it, episode 6, school's closing. 
Oh. Oh. Come with me. Quickly. Tonari. Jag läste. Tell us what did she say? Det är ganska sorgligt att det enda du skriver är att du önskar att du kommer må okej och inget mer. Men jag vill också att du ska veta att jag är väldigt tacksam över att du var min första riktiga vän. Oh. She's probably gonna say the same thing. Did you not say it? Come on, go after her. Jag vet inte ens vad jag ska ge honom för present. Write him a song. Nej. Sen när blir du det om vad hovet tycker? Ja, sen jag insåg vad det innebär att vara tillsammans med en av dem. Mm. Jag ska bara testa och köra på det här nu. I appreciate that actually, where he says, you know, he needs to slowly try things out because he likes, he loves one of them, so he needs to play along with them, you know? Nej, men vi vill väl bara inte att du raderar dig själv. Mm, that's the thing. Delete yourself. He just doesn't know where the deactivate button is. What's up with him? He still hasn't read the letter, no? He's kind of scared. Oh, are they waiting for their session? Oh. Jag antar att du inte egentligen vill ha med dig. Jag försökte prata med Farina men hon insisterade. Dagens, jag tror inte en sekund på det Du hängde efter Erik som jävla hund. Ja, yeah, he wanted to be with Erik, not with du you. Du Erik. Du kände inte Erik. What if him and Erik had an affair? Jag var ju för fan hans bror. Vad fan skulle du fatta? Stop it. Nu minns du den där... Uh, ...invigningen. Folkfilmen. Oh no. Det hände oss. Och Erik... ...och hans treer var de som höll i. Det är inte sant. Det ljuger. Klädde av oss. Radade upp oss. Så sa de att den första som får stånd får spö. Pina. That's crazy. Och Erik var där. Erik var där. That is crazy. I would have not expected this type of revelation. I would have expected it to be between, between him and Niels, you know? But to tell Wilhelm? I mean... This is the end? <laughs> I was Stop. gonna say like, what are they gonna talk about now in this session, you know? Has it been 40 minutes? Seems like it. <laughs> it seems like it. This is crazy. Wow, that was a moment just now. What a revelation. Well, it's true. I mean, August is 100% is, is correct. He didn't fully know his brother. Right? And we talked about yeah. it. We talked about it. Was it episode two when they started talking about the... Um, when they started talking about the initiation? Or, or was it episode one? I don't remember. I think it was episode one. Mm. And we were like, oh my God, if this is true... Eric was there because at the time Eric was a third year, a third year. or second year, third year. So here we are. Willem finds out. Interesting episode. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, quite sad as well. Like there were lots of moments where I was like tearing up. Yes. Like between Simon and Villa, you could mm. feel like they were quite distant at times. Yeah. And you could just feel like there's something happening between them. I can which see is the like, cracks. They're like drifting apart. Drifting apart yes, know? I agree. I agree. 
Um, and then I think also the the moment with between Sarah and Felice. Yes, that, that was, was quite emotional. That was quite emotional when she said, "You were my real first friend." Yeah. And the minute she said it, I thought, "Oh my god!" The same goes for Felice. Yeah. I don't think Felice has any other real friends. The other person that could come close to it would probably be Madison. Yeah. Definitely not Federica and Stella, who are ready to pounce her just at the end now, no? Because if she indeed said something negative about the school or the initiation or whatever, you saw, I mean, Federica, uh, sorry, Stella was ready to fight. Yeah. But also now they're going to know if something comes out, they will know it was Felice it was who her. said it, you know? Um, going back to what you said about Simon and Wilhelm, as we watched this episode, I kept thinking, it does look like every time they speak or every time there is a dialogue, Simon is realizing, and or maybe maybe I'm just, you know, just thinking too far ahead or just making stuff up. As well. <laughs> maybe I just make up my stuff. But, but, but it was almost like Simon was drifting away, but Wilhelm is not. In the sense that Simon is f- falling out of love with him slowly. Yeah. That's what I was getting. And Willem is not realizing what's going on. He thinks everything's fine. Yeah. It feels like Simon really is starting to question... Everything. Everything, you know? Like, because they obviously mentioned, like, when Rosal Vincent asked him, like, what's your position... Mm towards the monarchy, right? Like, you want to abolish the monarchy or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, how can you have this view, right? But at the same time, you're You're dating dating a a prince, right? And realistically, if you want to continue this relationship and, you know, think ahead to the future, like, Villa will become king and you will be part of the monarchy. Yes. So how does that go together? Yes. You know? And then also all this kind of thing about privilege and everything. And like Simon is realizing like Wilhelm doesn't actually know how good he he has it. I also think there is a lot of disappointment in Simon. Like Simon is disappointed in Wilhelm. Like there is a scene at in that at, at that window where Wilhelm talks about the foundation, right? Mm-hmm. And then Simon is like going through the papers and reading through the, um, you know, the foundations. And then he's like, what about doing something that you actually care for yeah. or that could actually make a change you know, or something you have a connection to, like mental health, LGBTQ plus and other things. And, 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 and Willem is like, oh, I actually don't care. Like, whatever, you know? Yeah. The, the, and the, this the, is, I think, where, 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 where Simon is like, are you actually joking? Like, you have this privilege. You yourself talk about this privilege, but you're just enjoying the benefits of it. Yeah. You, you don't want to do anything for it or with it, you know? And I think that's where my my argument around the disappointment comes in. And to be honest with you, if I would be Simon, I'd be like, like this dude is actually giving me the egg. Mm. It's actually giving me the egg, but because he's a full-on potato, right? You, you, I don't know. It's just, I wouldn't find it flattering. I wouldn't find it sexy. If my boyfriend would be like, oh, actually, I don't care. I'm just going to yeah. do whatever. Yeah, exactly. You know? But then, as you said, on the other side, you have Wilhelm, who's not really realizing any of it. He's not realizing any of it. He's like blind. Like, he's, dude. He's really just focusing on doing the bare minimum. Simon, yeah. right? He just wants to be in this relationship. But I don't think he's really thinking about what it means, you know? No, to be honest with you, and what I see... What, it, what you have to put into the relationship and, like, the consequences and everything and how Simon actually really feels. The more and more I watch it and the more... And this now, um, it almost feels like Wilhelm wants, wants to hold on to this fairy tale safe haven, to the yes. safe zone. He wants to be 16 forever with his boyfriend going to school. It's almost no, like an babe. escape for him. Yeah, it's an escape. Yeah. Uh, he, and I get it, you know, and he's going to th- through, th- through some tough things. Seeing your parent collapse, seeing your parent crumble and fall apart isn't a nice thing. And, and suddenly having so much, you know, responsibility on your plate, I get it. I'm not saying, oh, why can't you just be king tomorrow? Absolutely not. But he has such a strong boyfriend, you know. He's, his boyfriend is there to challenge him, to support him. And v- William seems to not 
catch on any of it. Yeah. It's just asleep. Like, babe, wake up, you know? Because before I know it, reality is going to hit and you need to be be ready, you know, to some extent. And by that point, he, he has an opportunity to form his future, to do whatever he wants. Going back to, to what Farina said, you know, we have a huge opportunity here. And he's like, I'm just going to do whatever. Yeah. Let's just take yeah, exactly. sports and whatever. Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about um, August throughout this episode. What did you think of August? Yeah, there was definitely a shift. Like, towards the beginning, he he was just happy whenever he saw Sarah, mm-hmm. right? As we said, like, it was so cute. Like, he behaves like a child. Yeah, like a boy. Um, and he briefly talked to her as well. But then, obviously, later on, once the strike starts and they're talking about those letters and everything, and they're like, oh, let me read your letter. Mm-hmm. He suddenly like goes into himself, you know. He's he very puts quiet. Up a shield, a shell, a shell, or something. And I guess it brought back all those memories, also from the from the initiation, you know. And then now at the end, crazy. It was mad. It was a lot. Well, I think we kind of knew that something happened, yes. right? Back in in his initiation, and that somehow Eric was involved, mm-hmm. but we obviously didn't know what exactly has happened. No. But like. Phew, what did you think about Willem at, in that very moment? Yeah, I don't think he... He wasn't ready for it. No. I don't, I, I don't know if he's actually like really was absorbing it as like if he's believing it or if he's like thinking, oh, August is just telling me a story. Mm. But August was believable. Like he was like, this is what happened. And I guess like, he could... In theory, go to Vincent as well and be you like, hey, to Neil this, as well. oh, Neil's yeah, like, yeah. is this what happens, you know? Yes. What did you think of the little strike number? <sighs> because at the end, they, they, they did get part of what they wanted, yeah. right? They, they got some of their freedoms back and whatnot. I mean, on one side, I'm like, yeah, good for them, you know? Yeah. They deserve a little bit more freedom. They have to, their phones back. Yeah, good for them. But it was just so funny that <laughs> at the beginning, like Vincent was making fun of Simon. Yes. Right? He's like, Oh, are you going to go to another demonstration or what whatever? What do you plan to achieve? But then that's literally what yeah. they're doing. I wish. Because they want their rights back. Yes. Right? Fighting for their rights and yes. whatever. Yeah. I love the shift from, you know, Vincent mocking it to Vincent realizing, actually, this could work. Let's do it. You know what? I hope the writers do something in the next episode where Simon just at least does say something to Vincent, something like, oh, like on a morning or something, oh, good morning, like are we, like, are we having another strike today? Yeah. Like, I would do it every single day from here on out, trust and believe. Vincent, another strike? Trust. Yeah. Because, you know, I think he's an important character. As much as I don't like Vincent, I think he's an important character because he, he has some key moments in the series throughout uh, season one, two, and three here. Mm-hmm. If you pay attention... There are some key triggers that he triggers, like his character triggers certain moments, you know. And I do think he plays a a vital role to it. As much as he's a a supporting side character, like this, for example, was like it was initiated by his character. So it almost feels like he has those moments that come every now and then, um, you know, to trigger certain things. But it's funny to see that, I don't know, there's kind of like a shift towards his character. Like he now seems different than in season two or mm. even compared to the beginning yeah, of the season. Yeah, you mentioned, no? Like right. He couldn't get them when to he quiet. Took, when he took over as prefect from August, he was this, like, very confident and, like, loud yeah. guy, right? Almost like a leader. Yeah, he took over as leader, yeah. right? And then now he almost seemed like, I don't know, he suddenly was a bit more quiet, he couldn't get their attention when he was announcing the strike and then August had to step in. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's almost like, yeah, the, the roles are reversed again. Yeah. What about Vincent drawing a penis into the pebble? <laughs> I don't think it means anything. I you think don't think it means anything? Everything no. in the show means something. Yeah, but I think it's just more like, oh, the exam was shit. Like it was... Here's a penis. Yeah, like, yeah. 
wait a second, I know what it means. He drew the penis into the sand, and later on, when Vanessa comes into the room and everybody was asleep, Someone... that was Vincent. Probably. Connecting the dots. Yeah. There you have it. <laughs> it means something. He's a school bully. Yeah. Uh, and his signature? Penises. Yeah. Well, for all we know, he was the one who got hard when they were watching that, that movie at the, at the initiation. I, he would have been Maybe he well. was the one. So, uh, yeah, I do wonder then who who it was, you know, who got a hard on and then who got beaten up and how bad it actually was. Mm. How, how, like, how much did they beat him up? Yeah. And did I participate in, in the it's, beating? I was, I was about to say, like, how nasty and, and, and how depraved would it actually get? And are we going to find out more? Because I did feel, like I said, oh, I was surprised that they would reveal it this way. I like the way they reveal it, actually. Because you could see Villa slowly crumbling. But I would have also liked someone, um, not someone, Niels involved. Because it looks like there was a lot going on mm -hmm. when it happened, you know. And a lot of people walked away with trauma. Then I'm do. I am surprised then that if this, like, obviously this happened. And this would have happened quite at the beginning, no? When August first came to yeah, the school so right because the initiation was like right ago. at the beginning yeah, three years ago so then he did have like another year with with eric eric at yes. the school so after this has happened why would you still look up to eric and like have such a good well they bonded throughout have no? such a good relationship with him they, they bonded throughout that year i guess maybe but i would have been like fuck off like you did this to me like you didn't do say anything you didn't i think they're all me. scared like, i think they're all scared of that and it, I, I guess you know you're new here you, you you're quiet you're new at the school your parents paid a lot of money you're not going to be suddenly speaking up no speaking of august as well they there was this moment during the strike mm -hmm. when they were talking about food and stuff mm. and August was literally describing how he feels sometimes not sometimes eating. when he's not eating, like how it makes him feel. Yes. That it makes him feel good, you know? And then Simon was like, that sounds, that sounds like a eating disorder. And everybody's making jokes and laughing, but then you can see him and it's like, oops, he's realizing. And I wonder if that maybe yeah. somehow is connected to what happened to him, right? In, during the initiation. Trauma. I feel like we know? need another season. We need one more season. It's only two more episodes, right? Yeah, there is so much How to unpack. How are they going to wrap this up? I'm telling you, they're going to leave so much un 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 unanswered. Mm. It'll be like, surprise, guys. Five years from now, it'll be like, surprise, movie's <laughs> coming. Anyway, yes. anyway, anyway, episode four. Wow. Not bad. I was expecting more drama. Like you said, it was a little slow. I was expecting a little more for episode four. I would still give it a nine. I'm nice. Gonna give it a nine. Uh, I like the ending. I thought, yeah, no, I thought it was good. I cannot wait for Felice to open up to to Sarah slowly. But I think it's it's gonna happen now because it was a trigger here in this episode. Another trigger where you know Sarah saying you're my first real friend. Mm -hmm. I think that triggered something. Yeah. Now. But she still needs to fight this thing that she has with her friends, right? Because her friends are adamant of keeping her away from Sarah. I'm saying friends. Yeah, Federica, Stella, I mean, and Maddie. She just needs to say to them, like, listen. Step away. I want to be friends with Sarah. Yes. None of your business. None of your business. Like, if you don't want to be friends with her, like, fine, you know. But, like, I'm going to be friends with her. Yes, exactly. At one point, you have to move on. Do you think we're going to see the birthday next next episode? I'm assuming because it was mentioned quite quite a lot. Mm. Now it was mentioned a few times. So I'm assuming it will, it will come. Yeah. Let's see if he's going to write a song for him. Let's see if Simon is going to write a song for Wilhelm. Still can't believe that he deleted his account, by the way. Babe, just deactivated. But also it was interesting to see what Roche and um, Anjoub said. Anjoub, yeah. About not deleting yourself. Yeah, and I think that's how he feels at the moment, right? They're telling him what to do, what not to do. Yeah. Delete this, delete that. You can't do anything, can't be in public. We're going to, you know, pick you up from home, drive you to school, whatever. Like, 
I need to go back to what I said. Was it last episode? Sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, I need to go back to what I said. I would fire Farima <laughs> because she's a complete amateur. How is it that you have an attack on the house, right? There is an attack happening on someone's house. And then the PR person is telling you, delete, delete everything. Like that in itself just is giving a sign of defeat when you're socially di- like disappearing because the people that attack your house know that they won, yeah. right? Yeah. She should have said, babe, I need you to archive everything or let's go through it together. Out of all of this, we're going to archive this, 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 this. No, she's like, just delete everything. No, babe, I'm not going to delete anything. You're fired. What is this? Yeah, I mean, I'm just everything? assuming also that they maybe don't have the time to invest. Why she with, has with the time Simon. to call Willem every five minutes and tell him off. Yeah, but I guess they have a lot on their plate at the moment because obviously the queen is not doing her duties and stuff. So everyone else, like Farima, Jan Olof and stuff, they're probably like taking on a lot of extra things, you know? Excuses, call the royal court right now. <laughs> I want to speak to Farima. No, she she just annoys me a little bit. When they introduced her at the beginning of the season, they introduced her last the last season, no? Was it? She was. She, the end? she popped up a couple of times. There is a scene where a villain calls his mom and talks about, "Oh, Simon is going on a date with Marcus. It's all your fault." And then you see her sitting at the table, and you see mm-hmm. young Olaf sitting there, Froima sitting there, and some other people. Froima was there already, but. Yeah, she was more present from from this season, yeah. right? I really thought like, oh wow, she she's cool and she's gonna be an ally and she's gonna be there for Wilhelm and help him and support him. Fire her. Yeah, quite disappointing. disappointing. Anyway, episode four. As always, we thank you for being here. As always, thank you so much for the incredibly sweet comments and um, answering also so many questions between. All of you. It's uh, helping us as well because, again, there's so much going on in the show. Uh, again, I can't believe it's only three seasons, but it is what it is. We have two more episodes to go. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. There is a lot more coming. Once we finish with Young Royals, we will dive into Fellow Travelers. Mm-hmm. We have also recorded um, Red, White. White and Royal Blue. Yes, we need to edit it. We need to finish it. We started editing. Uh, it's quite a lot. It's a beast. And... Um, Yeah, thank you so much and see you next week. See you next week. Bye.